Ghana new cities and the best as the best performing African, you know, currency against the dollar in Africa. I will be talking about how the Nigerian government at the same time are trying to control the printing of money. They don't want it to be excess you know to the community to everybody in nigeria they don't want that they don't want to print excess money because of the coming uh presidential election in nigeria so what do you think about this you no know, ghana we said uh, uh, earlier on this platform that uh, ghana is uh, a, a destination for uh tourists everybody in the world uh, yes in uh, west africa especially yeah. because we that day we said that Ghana economy is a bit stable. Yeah, more they than some countries in Africa. There are many countries in Africa. They yeah. have stable economy. And this is one of the reasons why the economy is stable in Ghana. The city, the currency in Ghana is performing. Yeah, it's very powerful. It, yes, that is why you, you see this news that uh, it is the most... Uh, uh, performing currency, performing currency uh, on the surface of Africa against the is, dollar. Against the dollar, yeah. So it's no surprise when government uh, in power is trying hard to put uh, things in order and make uh, economy grow. This is what happens. It must it must appreciate against the dollar. You know, dollar is the, the, the world currency. Yeah. So that is why they use it as a, as a measurement, and uh, it is a a good thing to hear that uh, the city of Ghana is performing very well, it's appreciating, that is good. That is what we hope it will happen in Nigeria as well. And we, we think so. Yeah. So because, you know, the, the government of Ghana and most of their authorities in Ghana, after when the cities come down there, you know, it's, it was a serious issue because most of the Ghana economy, you know, basically they based everything on the American dollar. So this is the reason why they help themselves out, out, of a lot of strategic ways, you know, to deal in in, in, in in cities more in terms of, you know, changing of, you know, gold. A lot of stuff was being put into consideration to the uh, Ghana economy at the time. And we've seen this change because everything is changing. It's like $8 now to, 8 cities now to $1. And, you know, this is what we talked about, about the prolific job of the Ghana government and their authorities do you think they are doing a good job in ghana in terms of this you know we can see the differences and the similarities compared to the nigerian economy whereby them they're trying to limit the rate of you know printing money in nigeria because of the forthcoming election do you think the ghana authorities are doing a better job than the nigerian authorities what do you think about this of course when uh economy improves it is something everybody can see you know several we've discussed uh, issues like this on this platform and we have even mentioned how nigerians troop into ghana to do businesses a lot that is an a indication lot. that economy is picking up yeah and when yeah. you have influx of people doing businesses the government will be able to get in more taxes and stuff like that and uh, things like this must happen when the environment is conducive for business to grow people we do business compared to nigeria where no matter how brilliant how ingenious you are in nigeria there are certain areas you can do business because the country is not safe that is why you know in, in the coastal area of uh, west africa ghana is the next biggest economy yeah after nigeria after nigeria is the next biggest economy. so and it's english speaking yeah so it is easier, just like nigeria yeah just like nigeria it is much much easier for nigeria to uh migrate to that country and do businesses and again if you look at it from the uh point of view that is they are all members of ECOWAS, yeah which encourages uh economic integration and movement between uh uh, member countries and that is why Nigerians are moving to Ghana to do business and that has helped in a long way to help stabilize or contribute to the stabilization of economic uh, situation in Ghana and that is why the CDC is picking up it is we, we have to give it to the uh, authorities in Ghana they are doing a good job yeah they are doing a very good job so what do you think about the Nigerian government controlling the you know the printing of Naira in Nigeria because of the forthcoming election. What do you think about this? Uh, that is 
that may be seen as a good move if it is a uh, followed through. They said it's because of the corruption and everything going on in Nigeria because they don't want the money to be surplus to the point they will use the money to bribe people during um, the presidential election in 2023. That's that the excuse. That is the excuse. And uh, to me, I can say it is already uh, bearing fruit because uh, we've seen on social media, although nobody has been arrested, we, are, we see stacks of money people are uh, hoarded in their homes. Although yeah. most of them are already in bad condition, cannot mm -hmm. be spent again. However, politicians, per me to say, are crooks. Many of these politicians have loads of dollars in their homes. Kept and eating somewhere Eden, in their homes. Yeah. For this same purpose. So if they cannot spend it, it is even easier to spend dollars. Remember, some time ago, we discussed on this uh, platform how in Nigeria, the, the, the dollars, the, the currency called dollars, circulate more in Nigeria than even in America. They have more dollars they have, they have in, more circulation dollar in circulation in Nigeria, in Nigeria than than even than America. <laughs> even because in the United States of America, in the United States of yeah, America they don't spend uh, cash as much as we do yeah. in Nigeria. It's cashless it's, policy it's, it's over here. Yes, it's a cashless economy. Yeah. But in Nigeria, where we move in cash day in, day out, we have more dollar notes in Nigeria than even in America. So, if we limit the amount of, of printing of uh, naira in circulation mm -hmm. maybe it can help a bit but politicians will still flood the circulation with dollars mm -hmm. and that will be a, a, a bit more uh more difficult for people to control and what i had expected the central bank of nigeria to have done is ask people who have dollars to keep them in domiciliary accounts Force them to keep the money in those so that you can regulate so how they move to, the money. Yeah, yes. yeah. Regulate but, all the money in the bank account. And the bank account. But when you are silent on dollars and you know quite well that we have excess dollars in circulation. Circulation. In Nigeria. So that may not uh, give them advantage to maximize the purpose of uh, what they are doing. That's a good one. I don't even think to that level. I know every time I have conversation with you, interview with you, Mr. Steve Ade, on this platform, it's always a prolific one. You give adequate insight to all the issues that we talked about. So my people will be going to the next one. Kudos to the great work by the authorities from Ghana and Nigerian government to are trying their ways, you know, to push in the Nigerian era back to the normal pedestal it's supposed to be. Like we see the cities now breaking every boundaries in the world like facing the dollars highest in big time in africa as the only currency in africa that have you know grew to the point of going against the dollar in africa so my people will be going to the next one we'll be talking